G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I wanted to show you how to book a meeting inside of Microsoft Teams and then also how to join that meeting and um, have a successfully running Microsoft Teams meeting. So the easiest way to book a meeting is if you go inside of Teams, open your calendar. Here's one that I created earlier. But what we can do is say, uh, test meeting for video and you can add your required attendees so it will say Joni needs to come and also Lynn um, if somebody's not inside of your tenant you can type in their full email like this so it's my external email and it will invite have your time picked how long you want it to go for so let's just say Quick five minute. Oh, whoops. Eight colon thirty-five. So five minutes. And then we can send off the meeting invite. So this works the same as a office, you know, a normal Outlook meeting invite. It sends them a meeting invite, they accept the invitation. Here's one I prepared earlier. So this one you can see this one was one that um, I've been invited to as this user and what I can do here is I can go in so now that it's time for the meeting what I would do is I would select join and I would say join now so what will happen now too is there's nobody in the meeting so the organizer of the meeting needs to be the first person that is in the meeting and they will actually accept everybody who's who comes into the meeting as a meeting attendee once the meeting starts. So here on my other screen, which you can't see, um, it's basically saying uh, admin, blah, 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 Microsoft is waiting in the lobby. Do you want to admit that person into the lobby? I'll click yes now. And the meeting should start in a moment. And you should be able to see both cameras. So you'll see this one here is my laptop camera. Uh, it may be a little bit glitchy because we're running two cameras parallel and both going through the internet and everything. This one here, which you can see down in the bottom right hand corner is the uh, screen that I'm on, that you're seeing. So down the bottom right hand corner, it'll actually show you a picture of you and the other screen shows you the other people. If there's more than one person, what will happen is your screen will split in two and it will show more than one person. So also, if I go like this, the camera actually follows the person, which is pretty smart for Microsoft Teams. What it does is it just follows the person around as it goes and uh, based on the screen size. So that's how to have a meeting. This type of meeting you can invite more than one person to. You can easily just invite, I don't know, however many people you want, like 10. It gets a little bit full on if you have 20 people, but you know, five or six people works quite well in this digital meeting environment. Oh, another thing what you can do as well is while you're inside of the meeting, you can share your screen or you can share a window. So if you hit share, it'll say share a window or share the screen. So you can just go, yep, I wanna share screen one, or I wanna share these other windows that I have. So say I wanted to share my Adobe Premiere Pro window, I can share that, or my Chrome window. Anyway, so you can share just an application window or you can share your full screen, and that will show it to everybody who is in the meeting, which is quite handy when you're actually in a meeting. So if you wanna like pull up a slideshow and show your slides, or a document or something that has stuff on it, you just pull that up and share your screen. So if I just leave that meeting now. So that's how to have a meeting. You can also go direct and what you can do is have a video chat. So on here, if you go into your chat and pick who you want to uh, video chat to, so at the moment we've got these two people. If I went to, I don't know, Fred, Patty Fernandez, I could try and video chat her. She's not a real person, so she's not gonna answer. But if I wanna video chat me on my other mobile, I can hit that button. 
and what will happen is my mobile will start ringing or the person who's ringing and what it's saying is mod administrator is trying to call me so there we go uh, video. so now you can see we've got the video we're on the video chat this is actually running through my mobile phone this time not my laptop um, yeah that's basically it so that's how you do a direct video call if you wanted to do a direct audio call what you can do is just press that and then the person's audio will ring so anyway that's basically it that's how to host a meeting how to book a meeting inside of Microsoft Teams don't forget to get to the meeting you have gotta go through the calendar the other thing you can do is an instant meeting by doing meet now and just inviting people in um, but it's a lot easier through the calendar and you can let everybody know you're having a meeting through the calendar it works a lot better so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe to see more I'll be making a bunch more teams focused videos in the coming days I think um, so I will see you all then